opposite ends of the spectrum for these two schools. Here is Travion Williams against that bigger body of Young, making his first start of the season. Well, Travion Williams says, okay, I'll take you out to 15 feet. Ivy in the lane, leaving it for Williams, and out to Newman. He has a shot clock violation. That one will count. To get into your steps, try to execute, make Purdue have to play you. They leave an open shooter. Chase Ardige knocks it down from deep. Young catches. Patient lays it in. But aggressive play by Ardige trying to get to the basket. And then aggressive on the other end. Tough finish for Jaden Ivey. It's all about ball reversal. Inside, good hook shot there for the big fella, Williams. Bowie trying to get on track. He's hit back-to-back -back threes. He can heat up quick like a microwave. Oh, he is into this thing, slapping the floor. Bowie coming off just the two points against Rutgers already with six. And Williams with a nice reverse inside. Bowie gets a breather here as we tick down towards eight minutes. Open look, Mason Gillis all there. Adish has it disrupted, taken away. Stefanovic leads the break, finds Ivy. Rejected from behind. Nicholson, good defense. Yeah, the young man's making his presence known. But Boo Booey, who's had those turnover issues, then, and he turns it over there. Ah! The other yeah. end. It's kind of been one on one, and that's what's gotten Northwestern in trouble. The quick shot and then the transition. Purdue, this time, not necessarily transition. Remember, that teammate Travion Williams on the bench with two fouls. Thompson saved the turnover and finds Stefanovic, who is still cold. He is 0 of 4. Ivy, not as cold. He's in double figures now with a dozen. Passes to the corner. Off the mark, Aaron Wheeler, that's something he struggled with his whole career. 22% three-point shooter. And it leads to the three on the other side by Audie. Matt Painter's going to point out the fact that Zach Eady, with all of his size, keeps bringing the ball down below his shoulders. And that's given the opportunity to the defense to tie him up. Seven Purdue turnovers, nine so far for Northwestern coming off the season high 20. A great dish inside there. Young finding Nance, and we got a one-point game. Five to shoot for Chase Audige. Now Young got to put it up. Nance, did he put it up? They say yes. Counted in the corner for Pete Nance. If he can hang that third foul on Travion Williams. Ellis making three for three from outside the arc for Mason Gillis, and then he came in with just 13 threes on the entire season. And he started the year off so well, double figures, five of the first six. What a reverse. Spectacular on oh, Dees now with 14. And um, it showed, as I said, he wasn't playing possum because he was still hurting even after he scored. Nance with a buck, and we got the three-point look. He hit a couple of those early. Hasn't made one since. Ivy reverse. There's his first bucket of the second half with emphasis. That time, Hunter did a better job. At least tried to break down the defense. And Cock keeps shooting despite his struggles. He was one of seven before that bucket, but Edie has it jarred free. Gets it back. As we hit the four-minute mark, Newman step back. Yes, from the top of the arc. Oh, man. Purdue right now down low. Three straight games now for Ryan Young in double figures. And there is Ivy taking it to the basket. Going baseline, feeding it into Young, but a great rejection by Edie. Ivy. But it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Barry wraps it around. Adige in the corner. No. Barry powers it up and in. He's fouled as well, so that pulls it to within six. Final seconds. Northwestern is going to drop their ninth in a row after starting 3-0 in conference play. And for Purdue, it's going to be nine straight victories. Final score, 75-70 to as the freshmen lead the way. And that man, Jaden Ivey, with 20 points.